Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is download image. I'll run this quick little example, and when it runs, we're going to see a little white square here, and then after a few seconds, an Unreal Engine logo will appear. And this is using the download image node, which we can see right here. And the node basically downloads an image off of a URL or network location and outputs the texture that it gets. So let's look at the node itself. The node's pretty simple. We type in the URL. This is just going to be a normal URL. It should start with the HTTP. We want to make sure that is in there. And it's a location somewhere. So it could be local on a local network address or on a web to an image. It's going to attempt to download that image and then it's going to return back the image itself as if it was successful. So if we look at this, if we run this, we see start downloading, done downloading, and we see our image right here. This is an asynchronous task, which means it's basically going to fire off this command to download and then continue running. And of course, it's going to use the normal execute wire here, where I have start downloading to continue. Once it's done, it's going to fire off either a success or a fail. Let's go ahead and remove part of this address to make it fail and hit play. You'll notice it said start downloading and then downloading failed, and we have no image. Because this is an invalid address, we get a on fail to fire off, and our texture would be nothing. And you can see now when we ran it again, it ran fine. I can grab another image. So I'll grab an image off the internet. We'll go ahead and paste this into here. We'll go ahead and run this again. And you'll notice after a little bit, our image shows up. Now you will notice something slightly different with this one. We can't really see much of it. It's going to download the image and depending on the image, it may have transparency. If it does have transparency, our texture 2D, which is our output result here, is going to have the transparency intact. If we look at our designer and we look here, this is just an image. It currently is a white background, but it has no brush image assigned to it. My command here is basically to set a brush from a texture, which is the one I'm downloading right here, and to put it onto that image. Because there's transparency, when we run this and it downloads it, transparency is intact. This entire part back here is transparent. That's why we can't really see it on here. So keep that in mind. The image itself is going to be just like the image you get off of your internet or your new location. Transparency will be held. Transparency will be there if the original image supports transparency. In terms of what it can download, this should support any of these supported image formats. So we have a PNG and we have Targa and things like that. PNG being your primary one on the web, so more than likely this will be the image you get. That's it. That's our basics. Again, it fires off a valid URL. It will either have a success or a fail execute. If it succeeds, we'll have a valid texture we can put somewhere. This is an asynchronous task, which means it will fire off this node and continue executing. Only once it is done, good or bad, will these other pins execute. And this is useful if maybe you want to grab a image from the internet for the user to use. Maybe it's a profile image off of Facebook or something like that. A good easy way to customize the game to the player.